हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस द बेसिक्स ऑफ प्रोजेक्शंस ऑफ प्लेन्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्लेन एंड एलेमिना वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलीगन्स द इंटरनल एंगल ऑफ ए रेगुलर पॉलीगन एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द थ्री बेसिक कंडीशंस टू सॉल्व ए क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ प्लेन्स सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दीज थ्री कंडीशंस यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चंस and you will be able to find out the various parameters in the questions of projections of planes so let us start now basically in projections of planes now what we had then done till now we had done projections of points projections of lines now this is the third topic which is projections of planes now what is projections of planes now basically here if you see what will be the difference the, dif the only difference is the object has changed from a line to a plane now okay now if i if i just write it over here if i had a point let us say this is a point okay this is the representation and it has no dimensions okay let us say i have a line so yeah, i have two points so if i join two points it becomes a line so it is one dimensional right then if i have a plane now i join two lines let us say i have two lines and i join two lines it becomes a plane so it is two dimensional why it is two dimensional because it has let us say this is length and this is height so it has two types of measurements are there okay and in this case it is length only then next is plane and difference between plane and a lamina basically what is a plane plane is something which is infinite okay plane is a general word okay it has infinite length and it has no specific shape okay a plane is a general word okay it does not have any particular shape and it has infinite dimensions okay but if lamina is there okay in case of lamina the lamina has definite shape also okay it has definite length it has definite angles and all everything is there in lamina okay now for example let us say if this is a plane now i consider this whole wall if i consider it to be a plane okay it, it does not have any length okay it has infinite length but let us say i consider this pentagon this is also a plane this is a lamina this also if i represent on this plane this whole everything is a plane or oh, you you say this this board is a plane okay and its edges are not limited and it is infinite okay this 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 object this is also represented on this plane right but still this is a lamina this is a lamina because it has definite shape this is a pentagon okay it has definite length and like this we will understand this thing so plane what is the plane plane is it is a general word okay and it has 
infinite length and no specific shape okay but in case of a lamina okay it has finite length and specific shape okay so what is the example of a lamina example can be a pentagon okay hexagon anything which has definite shape and length next is a polygon what is a polygon yes it is a closed figure with with sides greater than equal to 3 okay closed figure it is a closed figure with number of sides greater than equal to 3 so n can be 3 or greater than 3 okay so the last point joins the end point okay last point of the last edge and first point of the first edge they are joining each other so that that is why it becomes a closed figure right then there are two types of polygons regular irregular so in case of irregular poly uh, regular polygons all the edges and angles are equal okay and in irregular they are not right edges means side and edge both are same words okay this is an edge one side of any polygon it is it is known as technically it is known as edge we will call it as edge not will not be calling it this as side, uh, side you can call it as side also but edge is also the word used used for sides sides of a polygon so in case of projections of planes we will be dealing with uh, these regular polygons only okay we will be dealing with regular polygons what type of polygons we will be dealing with let us say a, an equilateral triangle okay then maybe a square or rectangle then a pentagon and a hexagon then circular lamina also so these types of you know uh, this is basically this is not a polygon but it is a lamina that is why i have written lamina okay it is not a polygon okay rectangle obviously rectangle is not a regular polygon this also but in this chapter we will be dealing with these uh, planes only these laminas only will be dealing with okay then next is internal angle of a regular polygon okay now what is 
the internal angle basically it is 180 minus 360 upon n the internal angle of a polygon it is theta is equal to 180 minus 360 upon n so let us say for a triangle theta for a triangle it will be equal to 180 minus 360 upon 3 so it becomes 60 degree right then theta for a pentagon i am not taking for a square for a pentagon it is 180 Minus three sixty upon five, so it becomes seventy two here. So it comes out to be one hundred eight degree for a pentagon. Let us say theta for a hexagon. It is equal to one eighty minus three sixty upon six. So it is sixty. It becomes one twenty degree. So, in case of projections of planes, to solve a question, okay, you will have to look for three conditions. Again, First is the size of lamina. Let us say if I have this this plane, this is a rectangular plane. So one this side and this side, it will be given to you. Okay. Then second is. orientation or inclination of the plane okay now what does this mean it means that let us say this is this is the plane okay what is the orientation of the plane it is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp so like this your plane is there right let us say if it is like this it is parallel to hp perpendicular to vp right so let us say if it is like this so it is inclined to hp and perpendicular to vp right similarly if it is like this it is perpendicular to hp and inclined to vp right so this is the second condition this is the second condition then third is or now what does it mean the third point let us understand this carefully just see now let us say the second condition is it is parallel to vp perpendicular to hp right okay now if i place it like this if i place it like this what is the orientation the second condition what is the second condition same 
let us say if I place it like this, same, if I place it like this, again it is same, let us say I am placing it like this, it is same, because it is parallel to VP perpendicular to HP, the whole plane, the whole plane remains the same. Okay, it is parallel to VP perpendicular to HP. It is not inclined to HP. This is a plane. This is a lamina. This is not inclined to HP. It is perpendicular to HP. Just see, this is perpendicular to HP. Basically, what is the third condition? Third condition is the plane, if it is like this, it is parallel to VP perpendicular to HP. If it is like this, still it is parallel to VP perpendicular to HP. Okay, or even if it is like this, still it is the plane of this figure, it is per parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. Okay, the thing is, third condition is the placement of the plane. So, your plane can be placed, it can be placed like this also, it can be placed like this also, it can be placed like this also. Being in the second condition, without changing the second condition, you can place it like this also. Okay, the second condition will be, uh, sorry, third condition will be with respect to the position of the plane with respect to edge, corner, center, etc. Okay, now let us see if it is like this. Okay, here I will define that a rectangular lamina, it is parallel to VP perpendicular to HP such that side AB is perpendicular to HP. Side, this is side AB, it is perpendicular to HP. Shorter side AB, let us say, this is a shorter side, this is longer side. So, shorter side AB is perpendicular to HP. Okay, or if I do it like this, the rectangular lamina, it is parallel to VP perpendicular to HP such that the longer side BC is perpendicular to HP. Right? Or you can say the shorter one or the shorter side AB or DCD, it is parallel to HP. Like this can also be there. Or let us say if it is like this, the plane rectangular lamina, it is parallel to VP perpendicular to HP such that side AB, this is side, side AB of shorter side AB makes an angle of 30 degree or 45 degree with HP. So this angle, this angle is 45 degree or 30 degree. So this angle may be given to you in the question. 